Did you take some coke before I drank from you because I'm feeling that sugar rush right now from your blood and wouldn't it be cool if if during the Christmas period Santa was the face of Coca-Cola? Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to watch some more of those adult films? <laughs> ah yes, the 1970s. What a decade that was. By the way, I wore wigs back then. Gave me multiple choice of hairstyles. Hello there, my name is Lark the Vampire, and this is a Free From The Grave review. So, in this one, I am reviewing the new horror thriller film, X. Yes, X. Written and directed by Ty West, starring Mia Goth, Britney Snow, Jenna or Garter or something. Uh, Martin Henderson, Stephen O, and, um, what is it, Owen Campbell, that's the one. So this follows a porno film crew that want to make an adult film, and they go to a, well, they rent out a cabin that's owned by, a, in a remote farm, and the landowners, well, they're a bit off, but... They get permission to use their little cabin across from their house. Little do they know that they're making it for an adult film. And of course, things soon take a dark, nasty turn when the couple are not what they appear to be. And they go... Everything just escalates from there. All horror and violence, blood, bodies. So, that's pretty much the essential story. So what did I like about this? Well, I liked that this was set in the 70s around the great porn craze. It was set in 1979, so the very end of the 70s. Uh, and this was looking, you know, kind of around the time that the porno craze was going on. <laughs> I remember those days. Good times. Good times. <laughs> you know, I just... Um, I even star I even featured him one in nineteen thirty six. Yes. Porn dates back to the ancient Egyptians. I wouldn't but I mean I'm only five hundred years old. But I have met a vampire who has done it with a pharaoh. Anyway, um I'm droning on now. So yes, this is set in the seventies and you know, this was you know, had a lot of you know, you know, hot sex and naughty bits action in there because after all they were pornographers and i gotta say i enjoyed this one britney snow was great in this along with mia goth she did a great performance too i haven't really seen her in much they also are supporting acts as well were also great in this it had good cinematography too cinematography where i liked that they used at one point lenses through the camera of the 70s when they were filming. I very much enjoyed that too, the cinematography and the lighting. Even during the nighttime scenes, you could still see what was going on, and I very much enjoyed all that. Of course, this had a good soundtrack as well and a good score. And that old woman in the movie, wow, she was creepy. But good creepy. You know, I, can't, I sometimes like to think humans are like monsters too, you know. Anyways, uh, the elderly couple were very unsettling, yet, you know, creepy, but it worked. I also thought, I, I do have one negative, there was one dumb cliche decision in that film made, which I was like, yeah, she pretty much deserved that, you know, <laughs> gun to the face. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we also had some good kills in there, and, you know, I, I was assuming when I first saw this, it was going to feature, 
the, the antagonists were going to be some extremist Christians, which they were, but they didn't not go on about that as much, even though there was a TV on in the background with a preacher and stuff. Um, and yeah, this was an A24 film. A24 are making some good movies lately, aren't they? Like Hereditary, Midsommar, The Witch, um, The Lighthouse, you know, Robert Eggers and... Ari Aster have made their films from this, and Ty West as well, I think he's done some good storytelling here in this film. Now, I feel A24, now they seem to have a bit of a thing, slow burn horror. This is a slow burn, but a good slow burn. It kept me entertained throughout and kept me watching, including there's one intense scene with an alligator. And um, also, yes, I don't know what it is about A24 making slow burn horror, but they work. They just know how to do it, I guess. And I very, very love that much. Yes. And, um, it does take a while to get going, but in the meantime, before the horror gets going, we do have some sex and nudity. <laughs> As a vampire, I love sex. Uh, uh, but, um, yeah, I will admit, this film is probably not everybody's cup of tea. I mean, there are some things and, you know, going on in this, and there are some brutal things. But, you know, if you like filth and violence, then I would recommend this one. It's a good one, and I do enjoy it. And, yeah, looking back at those times now... I was with a young woman in 77. She really loved Coca-Cola. She would drink it all the time. Got caffeine poisoning from him. <laughs> yeah. But I could taste the sugar in her blood. <laughs> anyway. Yes. You know, people like that in those days, I would really have loved to sink my teeth into them. Both metaphorically and literally. So anyway, the film X. Um, what do I you know, rate this? I think I shall give it a good 4 out of 5 at least. 4 out of 5 for the film X. So, that has been a free from the grave review. I thought I'd post a proper review because I haven't posted much on here lately. I did a short one, but anyway, yes... Hope you enjoyed this review and be sure to subscribe for more and hit the notification bell to see more from us at Free From The Grave. There's not just me, there is our Scarecrow Leader Movie Massacre and our Golden Witch McCobston Productions also on this channel giving you some great horror content. We've been on hiatus for some time due to personal things but... Well, I'm going to try and get back into the groove of stuff. Anyway, yes, that's it from this one. And as uh, I say on my channel, because we have our own channels too. Well, not my channel, but the boss's channel. As he puts it, at the end of everyone, don't have nightmares.